Oh yeah, I completely forgot. They updated this game since I played it last. Now there are a whole bunch of secret fireworks that you can find if you break into closed stores. What do we have here? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Please let me use a bunch of them. Please let me use a bunch of them. Please let me use a bunch of them. Oh, if the developer of this game ever watches this video, thank you for this absolute mistake. What's up guys, welcome back to Fireworks Mania, where today is the 4th of July, which is apparently a day where Americans celebrate their independence from the British by trying to blow up the sky. Now, I'm not exactly some kind of atmosphere biologist, but I think it's safe to say that the sky's record is probably around 245 wins to zero losses. I'm gonna try to change that though. Some of you guys may remember that I've actually been on a bit of a quest to reach the sky for a while now. It's just surprisingly difficult to run a space operation when all of your assets are designed to explode. You know, like fireworks have so much propulsion, and I thought if we could harness that propulsion, that we could ride it straight up and deal with the boom later. But it turns out that even if you strap a couple hundred fireworks to the bottom of a pickup truck, it doesn't really work as you would expect. Now, I was hoping for force multiplication, but instead, they all act independently of one another and blow up in your face. So really all I've learned is that putting a pickup truck into orbit is about as hard as catching a fart with a butterfly net. So I was pretty much ready to give up on the dream, but then you guys had a really interesting idea in the comments. You were saying, you know, what if instead of trying to harness this propulsion, we instead tried to harness the explosion? Because we've already seen that just a couple of propane tanks can transfer a gas station roof between area codes. It could be used to eclipse the sun. So what if we just duplicated that and then rode that to success? We've already seen that the pickup truck is pretty much indestructible. <laughs> and when I say indestructible, I, I mean the part that I'm sitting in. You know, the cosmetic stuff like wheels and axles, they're not important for flying. I get the feeling if I just make a pile of these, they're all going to fly off in different directions and make this neighborhood look like a Godzilla vacation destination. So I've made a bit of a propane tank swimming pool, which will hopefully contain things. I want the explosion to just stay right here and send me up. Before we attempt liftoff, I got a question for you guys, and don't skip ahead in the video. I genuinely want to know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how stupid is this idea? I'm gonna put it somewhere around making toast in the tub. I apologize to all the Americans out there that don't get to barbecue this 4th of July because some Canadian asshole decided to blow himself up. Here we go. Absolutely nothing. I mean, I sent something down the street, but that's not really the direction I was going for. Oops. <laughs> Come on! Was the pool design not good enough to contain things? Oh yeah, I completely forgot. They updated this game since I played it last. Now there are a whole bunch of secret fireworks that you can find if you break into closed stores. What do we have here? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Please let me use a bunch of them. Please let me use a bunch of them. Please let me use a bunch of them. Oh, if the developer of this game ever watches this video, thank you for this absolute mistake. It really seems only fitting that I set these off using something that's a little bit patriotic. <laughs> these are ironically called a hurry up, which is a feeling that I can agree with. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Okay. All it takes is one. Oh, oh my god! It was so bright! Okay! I mean, it's not quite what I was expecting because there's just no Tim in this. Tim usually sets off this big, bright, colorful explosion, but in this case, it was just nothing, nothing, nothing. You're blind and deaf. I just. What the hell was that? Were my ears replaced with dog toys in the explosion? What happened? <laughs> the gas station is gone. <laughs> We've never 
never seen that before. Oh my god. What? Where did it go? It actually did manage to blot out the moon. I was kind of hoping that the, the roof was going to land on me. It almost did. That is... Seriously unbelievable. I'm so friggin' happy right now. Oh, and of course, we found ourselves something else. Could this be Tim 2.0? Has Christmas come early? Spotlight? Oh, well, that's kind of clever. I, I mean, it's not gonna explode or help us make anything explode, but it, it does, you know, shine a light on my war crimes. The Tim gang really don't mess around, do they? Like, they drag their nuts all up and down this neighborhood. <laughs> even Bob's hardware ate it. They're like a block away. I hadn't even realized that the entire neighborhood is decorated for the 4th of July. Like, they were probably expecting me to set off some kind of beautiful fireworks show. Not send two-story tall novelty hammers into their living room. <laughs> I may be acting like Spider-Man all of a sudden, but I feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I've got my golden ticket, and his name is Tim. Uh, I want to see if there are any other secrets hanging around here. Who knows what they've introduced to this game all of a sudden. Well, I managed to find another one, except for it reminded me that I've still got beef with the treehouse. I tried to fit a Tim inside this thing before, and it didn't work. But now, I've got Ethereal Tim. We should be able to... Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> That's gonna explode real nice. Can I reach that from here, I wonder? Come on. You, oh, oh, come on, Tim. You know you want to. Are you lit? I think he's lit. Okay, maybe I'll take two big steps back. See you later, treehouse. Rotten hell. Or space, I suppose. Why does everybody else get to go to space? <laughs> Either way, we've got uh, something else here. Oh, come on. Help me out, please. Well, I've found the gas station shelves. The good news is all the products are still stacked on them. The bad news is they're blocks away. <laughs> I shouldn't have to evil Knievel my way into a treehouse just to get whatever this is. Okay. Uh, smoke ball? Oh, yeah. We got a whole bunch of different little smoke balls. Red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. And... Yellow for when you piss yourself after the shockwave hits. <laughs> I think their name is pretty self-explanatory, but who knows? Maybe I'll end up losing a... What? Oh. Okay. That all you got? So if I mix them, will I get different colors? Maybe green, blue, and yellow would... Make brown? No, I think it's just making me asthmatic. There are a couple of big mountains around the outside of the map. Maybe if I climb up on those, I'll find a secret. Or I'll find the gas station sign on the edge of town. <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of that. I don't actually know how many secrets there are on each map, so I may have found them all. That looks a little bit suspicious. I. Why am I trying my flashlight as if that's going to work? This is interesting. Uh, not the cardboard box itself, but the fact that I found it way outside of town. Like, if the pickup truck moves at the speed of smell, while mail moves at the speed of light, then maybe I should try blowing myself up while standing on a cardboard box? Do you think that could work? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I would take any option over climbing because I'm not very well equipped for this. I'm coming for you, Sky. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm so close. The oxygen is getting thin, but I don't even care. I'm gonna make it to the summit so that I can visit the giant flamingo. Was that what I was hearing earlier? Did all those Tims exploding summon some kind of kaiju? <laughs> Hello. You've got writing on your ball sack. Don't mind me. Congrats, you found the giant flamingo! Show the world you're awesome! I, I mean, I'm trying here. I'll try and add more Easter eggs like this in the future. Yeah, you know what? I've really enjoyed them. Finding stuff in town, like being able to summon infinite Tims, was definitely a whole lot more impactful than Big Bird's roid raging cousin here, but beggars can't be choosers. That gas station fire has been raging for like 20 minutes now. I don't think it's ever gonna stop.
But I didn't manage to find any more fireworks out around the edge of the map or on the mountaintops, but I realized that we found one inside of a closed store, one inside the remains of the gas station, one inside of the treehouse, so maybe they're all inside buildings? I mean, there are only so many buildings that you can search in this neighborhood, and there's only so much you can do to search them. Yeah, this place looks like it was hit by a tornado. Or a bomb, I suppose. <laughs> I have a hard time believing I'm gonna find anything. Yeah, you know what? Once you run into lawn ornaments embedded in the bathroom doors, it might be time for a reset. Well, the people house didn't have anything, but it sure looks like the dog house might be a different story. I could probably just reach in and grab it or move the dog house out of the way, but I feel like it's important to blow it up and send Fido a message. Teach him a lesson about stealing. These things are called Serious Sams, and I don't know if they're Roman candles or pipe bombs, but either way, it should be interesting. All right, Sam, show me what you got. Really hoping that you just are as bright as the sun. Holy crap, well, it's burning the house down. He really wasn't lying when he was saying that he's serious. What even is it? I don't understand what I'm looking at right now. I thought it was gonna explode, but instead it is just fire incarnate. All right then. That did not go according to plan. I mean, I, I thought it was gonna burn the house house down for a second. There was definitely a fire. There might still be a fire. <laughs> but yeah, didn't do anything to the doghouse. Back to the drawing board. This seems like a mistake. Do you think Tim can send this into space? Oh, he absolutely can. Come on, Tim, you got this. <laughs> oh, here we go. Why is it not taking off? I should probably taking a step back or two. I thought for sure it would be able to lift it off. How heavy is this doghouse? Okay, you know what, screw it. Give me my reward, what did I get? I got a purple smoke ball, that's it? I mean, don't get me wrong, like I'm all for a little purple haze, I'm Canadian, it's legal here. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the church judging me, but at the same time, and we've already seen that before, I need something else, there's gotta be more. I'm addicted now. Oh, neighborhood, you are so lucky that I just found this. I was really tempted to just string Tim's up and down the sidewalk and blow up everything. We got green smoke. I'm gonna assume I'm having a really hard time finding these things because they're very well hidden and not because the neighborhood now looks like somebody just played a game of Jumanji. It really feels like I've looked absolutely everywhere. Like there aren't that many places in town you can hide a giant neon question mark. And it turns out I am missing at least two more things. We've got one locked rocket and then one locked firework. It might be that you can only get them on the farm, but I doubt that. If I'm wrong, leave a comment, let me know. Just tell me where it is. I don't need a hint, I don't really care, but I'm gonna go to the farm and see if anything has changed there. Oh, I'm sorry, did I call this a farm? I meant the ranch. <laughs> Even though I thought the difference was that a farm had plants and a ranch had animals. I'm not seeing any animals around here, which is probably for the best, because I would definitely try to blow up a cow. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. There's no way. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Look, I've been trying to fly for nearly four episodes and it's not really panning out if you haven't been able to tell. I don't suppose I could just pull this thing down. That would make my life a whole lot easier, just uh... No? Of course it wouldn't be that easy. What has physics done for me lately? Why do I get the feeling this is gonna put me on some kind of watch list? I just want the secret at the top. Are you how? How hard is it to knock over the equivalent of a giant pinwheel? Come on, work with me now. Gonna take a whole bunch of steps back for this one. Oh, I'm sorry, are you done? 
I like to think that the farmer and his wife woke up to that Seinfeld episode length explosion and then saw somebody walk away with their trailer. <laughs> this is better work. I can get into the back of this and I'm pretty sure I can make it kind of fly. I consider this to be cheating, but it works. <laughs> oh, okay, Let me just freeze it. Oh my God, I'm a genius. <laughs> yes, I got Foxy, what is going on right now? No, that's Foxy. I used to poke fun at the amazing granny for being underwhelming and shaped like an amazing cooter wand, but look at Foxy in comparison. It's it's pretty much a pencil. Uh, oh, okay, this, um, yeah, that wasn't quite what I was going for, but it's a good comparison now. What do you do? Maybe it packs a real punch. Maybe it's gonna be awesome. Maybe it's just a fart in the wind. Well, the only other place that I can think of where there may be a secret is behind this door. Because I don't think Tim is in this level anymore. Maybe? I guess we'll find out. Okay, well, there's definitely something. Are you Tim again, or are you something else? You're Tim again. I shouldn't be disappointed at Tim, honestly. It's amazing to have in every level, but at the same time, I want something new. I feel like I've looked everywhere already. You know what, finding all of the new secret stuff is fun, but it is the 4th of July after all, so how about we finally finish this war against the sky? This is a hundred Tims. I don't think anybody has ever done this before, and probably for good reason. If the episode suddenly cuts off, it's because I crashed everything. Of course the second I'm about to Hiroshima the atmosphere, I can see the final secret. We'll go get that in just a second, okay? I've got pressing matters to attend to. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> it's just so much at once that there's no way to take it all in. Them going up was great. The boom was, I mean, it's like an angel pissed in my eyes. I'll tell you right now, next year's crops are gonna taste Real funny, that fallout is not going anywhere fast, but let's go get this final secret. I think we can leave the flying trailer at home this time. I've, I've got this, maybe, possibly. Okay, yeah, we got the Snapper Blue. You know what, Snapper Blue, you had a tough act to follow. Like, uh, unless you were gonna be the size of a vault's wagon, then you weren't really gonna live up to what just happened. <laughs> that being said, you might be kind of interesting. Or not. It wouldn't be an American holiday unless I finish things off by filling some strange rural home with explosives. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh no, I didn't see that there was a fireplace in here. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna keep feeding the beast. <laughs> Cause I've got even more to, to play. I can't open up the, oh, there's the menu. Yeah, we got some slammers, maybe some serious Sams. Oh, say can you see? I can't actually see to be fair. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Fireworks Mania, guys. I haven't found everything. As far as I could tell, there's still other things to do. So if you guys wanna see another episode, I've got a whole bunch of dumb ideas. Be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll flatten more property again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.